We're now on to part three of my two sample proportion hypothesis test. And what I'm looking at is why would you do a hypothesis test versus a confidence interval? All right. Well, honestly, you could do either. It just depends on what the book problem is asking us. But if we had our choice, we could actually do either. And the reason why you can do either is because a confidence interval, remember, when we're doing a two sample, what I'm interested in is did I capture zero or not? If I capture zero in my confidence interval, it means that the two are statistically the same. If I don't capture zero, it means that the two are in fact different. All right, so what I'm gonna show you is that um, by just simply going back to our stat crunch, we can show that we'll get the same conclusion in our video game example. All right, so you'll notice up on my screen is still the results from my hypothesis test. So I'm gonna go to options and edit. And instead of hitting hypothesis test, I'm gonna hit confidence interval. So notice I didn't change any of my data from before. It's all still there. There's my confidence interval. I'm gonna hit compute. All right. When we go over there, we see my lower limit is negative 0 0.064. My upper limit is 0.1919 or 0.192. And as I copy that down over here, you can see I go from negative to positive. So because I went from negative to positive, zero is in there. That means that the two are considered statistically the same. I even have my previous conclusion from the hypothesis test still written. According to our data, the two proportions are statistically the same. Yes, that is true. So what you're learning is that if your hypothesis test tells you to keep the null and they're statistically the same, your confidence interval will capture zero. Pretty cool. If on the flip side, my hypothesis tests show that they were statistically different. So pretend this is the word different. If that were the case, when I come up here, I wouldn't capture zero. It'd go positive to positive or negative to negative to show that in fact they were different. I hope that is helping as you're figuring out what to do when you're given two sample proportions.